What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Rabbi Bai Jones here from RBJ Creative Studio, and today we're bringing to you another tutorial. And as you can see, today we've added a video to the tutorial. So, yeah. I mean, um, today we are doing <clears throat> we're doing something about typography. And um, this this type of typography is um, something that I can say all graphic designers, I mean, are used to. Um, we all know how to go about our typography. We all have our ways of um, getting nice typography and everything. So um, today, what we are going to do is um, we are going to make sure um, we learn something about typography, how to get nice text and everything in um designs in know uh, everything so um let's get to it first of all you get your rulers in place and um i have my vertical ruler and i bring in my horizontal ruler too so um this is how it works so um let's say i've been given um a detailing like um rbj creative studio okay Present and all those things here yeah. so you have to you need to get your, your, your details and everything in place first and one thing you should know always make sure that you're working in alignment that's why we have our rulers so if you don't have your rulers you won't get your work aligned and I mean just make sure your rulers is in place everything is cool for you I mean yeah <clears throat> so first of all I'm going to type I'm going to type in all the um, text all the detailing in just a medium um, um, medium font size so um, rbj creative studio presents sorry presents um sorry for my voice i've had a very bad cold and it's disturbing me a lot but you know something i had i had to come in through i mean i had to come through for you guys so presents art tips I don't know what adjective means but something like art and creative are them together so rbj creative studio presents presents so there's an s oh, come on. art tips and um let's do a comment soon because we don't have any day in place or okay you know that you know something let's add the date time and venue yeah I think that one will do. So artists, we do something like um, art creatives. Yeah. So that's going to be the subtitle. So our title is going to be the artists. Then the art creative is going to be our subtitle. So um, <clears throat> this is it. Then we're going to have our date. So let's say 10th June 2020. Yep. 10th June 2020. We're going to have our time as five o'clock p.m nice then you see whenever i type i make sure it follows the alignment it, it follows the ruler and everything so yeah you need to get through with that too so our venue is going to be um venue 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 venue, 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 venue. let's say um oh come on venue 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 venue, venue. the basement bar and lounge yeah so basement bar and lunch <clears throat> nice I'm, I'm so sorry for this code I made it it's giving me a hard time but yeah so um then because RBJ creative studio our slogan is creator to create we just bring it in real quick creator to create and just shift it there, shift it there a bit. And like um, then something like see you all or come one come all something like that come one come all okay nice so we have our text and everything in place this is our whole alignment and as you can see it looks very raw it looks too raw <laughs> very raw come on so um we are going to learn how to i mean make sure our title that's our main title looks like a main title our um heading our date and everything so first of all let's move on to the rbj, RBJ creative studio sorry so um rbj creative studio 
it's it's we we we, we can say it's <clears throat> the person or the the people organizing the program so we'd have to give them a bold text because i mean there should be more light thrown on rbj creative studio so we we'll give rbj creative studio a bold text then for the presents as you can all see i mean presents it's not that i mean it's just it just it's just letting you know that rbj creative studio is presenting a program so for that one i'll make sure i give it a book and just so you know um we are using um gotham gotham so if you don't have gotham i'll leave a few fonts that i've been using i use i use just a few fonts. i don't use many fonts i'll, I'll leave those few fonts in the description so you can get it. you can get the whole thing so we just choose um book <coughs> then we come to our characters and if you want your characters you come to window and you come to what you call it a character so that's our character and just so okay it's recorded i thought my video was recorded so um then you come to your characters that's this one. so you come to the kindling that's the v with the a with um that arrow pointed to both sides then you just scroll up so you give it like let's say 640 640 is okay so you get that type of spacing and it looks very neat already i love how neat whenever i space out my text it becomes and it, it looks very nice too so i mean let's just get to it so we have our rbj creative studio presents in place then we move to our artists so our artists is going to be our main text so that's this is where the creativity and the punch lines and everything comes in comes in so um it comes in when we get to the main title so for the main title i'll give it the ultra that's the bold um gotham text and all and one thing one thing that you have to do sometimes you can just um get a cinema 4d something for it um let me show you the text that i've done so far wait i think i have another folder here <coughs> yeah so let's say we have our text here this one let's say our text is our main our main text you can just develop the text in cinema 4d so instead of just typing artists in um, 2d or in a flat uh, in a flat this thing you just do it cinema 4d to to replace it but most of the times people don't really want to i mean go with um cinema 4d all the time so for the artists you can choose to use a different font so here i'll use um you know something as a graphic designer you need to get all your fonts in your head yeah that's one thing you have to do you, you need to get more of your fonts not all of them but more so i'll use stella stella is very nice let me just type stella real quick oh sorry stella real quick and that's our stella so um the reason why i use stella okay i, I think i have to type artifs in lower case because um the upper case is not that nice so nice this is what we have so um stella is kind of um it's cool i don't really have more i mean it's cool just just i can just say it's cool so um what you have to do is make sure all the time your main text is much bigger than every text in your design that's one thing you should know because we want the attention to go to the main text you want people to recognize the main text you want people to know that yeah this is what's going on we are going to have artists on 10th june 2020 so you have to make sure the the, um, the attention of um, um whoever you're trying to communicate with comes to um the artist so we have our artists being big like this very huge very nice too because there's not going to be any images so yeah then we'll come to our subtitle that's the art creative so for me i'll just give i'll just give the art creatives the same stellar font but it's going to be somewhat little not that big enough so we will just go for the lower case for the art creative because i don't really feel i don't really feel the um, how do we call it the upper case for the stellar font so nice art creatives something like this that's um our sub font and it looks very cool so so far as you can see for the background it's it's not that much i just <coughs> sorry i've already told you i have a code it's killing me man 
I can't even brief where we're all the same. You know, I, I have to come through for you guys. So, yeah, forgive me. If, um, um, so, um, the, for the background, I just um, looked for this purple background thing. And you, I'll, I'll go to backgrounds later on. But for now, let's just get our text out of the place. So, um, then we move on to our date. So right now, sometimes what I do is I make sure I differentiate the main text and the subtitle from the dates and the venue and the time because it's, it's the directives showing you that the date is going to be and the program is going to be on this day and the um, um, time is going to be on this day and this is going to be on that day. Yeah, so I just make sure I put in a very thin um, rectangle inside real quick. But this is what I do. I make sure I transform it, come to our WAP. WAP the top part a little bit in of the down part a little bit in do the same thing to the other side because i don't want it to look like a regular type of text no sorry regular type of rectangle uh -huh. so this is what we get after that type of what happened so i have to duplicate it bring it down real quick so we have our june 10th and for the for for um for the dates we all want the dates and the time to be very visible very um readable very clear so i'll just choose the ultra that's the gotham ultra for it and i'll come to the um, time too but for the time sometimes you have to i mean for the time sometimes man i can be a rapper but let's just move on so for the time sometimes you can just leave it like this but you can um add an icon for the icons i have let me just type time here real quick let me search for time and you can see there will be this time clear part symbol that i can fuse with the time. this guy this guy right here i can fuse with the design real quick and um sometimes it give it gives it gives a flare some type of i mean it makes the design look nice that's all i'm trying to say so um yeah you can just add it to you can you can add the dates we have a date sign we have the venue sign we have every other sign that you want to be but i mean i'm more interested in the time sign so something like this i think my nose is droning oh god nobody should nobody should tell me i have corona because i don't have corona this is something of mine i've been i've been having problems with my and everything so i mean it's always say i have corona i don't have corona <laughs> So I um, mean, just add um, the time to this, and it looks good already. And make sure you select both of them, and make sure this line here aligns with the ruler. So let's just move on. So to the basement bar and lounge, we we'll make sure we give it an ultra two, and um, yeah, real quick, center it. Or you can just make sure you bring the bar and lounge down, then make sure. Um, you align to the middle like we've done here and um real quick just reduce the size and uh, we are good to go so for the creator to create you can also make sure you reduce the size a little bit <coughs> then come to the kennel and kennel as much as you want then you just bring it to the middle creator to create and come one come all well this come on come on is mostly like um church church vibes but you know something i mean sometimes you can just add something to your work to make it look more so for come on come on i'm i'm gonna make the come oh come on come on come on oh come on i have to be a rapper so i just add the ultra to the come and to the next come again not c-u-m don't be thinking negative man so for the come something like this and nice so um let me just save this real quick to my, my my works nice okay so look at this this is a complete transformation compared to the first thing we did that's to the first it looks very very nice very arranged very i don't know how to say it i don't know how to i mean how to put it but it looks very nice already and i love i love <clears throat> alive <laughs> what's wrong with me man maybe it's because i have a cold i love how it looks right now and it's very nice so fast forward you can transform this whole align to the center thing and um, just make it align to the left or align to the right so what you have to do is bring in your ruler 
you shift your RBA Creative Studio, make sure it's aligned with the left side. Make, bring the present to, bring the artifs to. Make sure it's always hitting the end of the ruler for the for the for the art creatives. Let's just leave it in the middle like this, and make sure the dates and all these guys also come to the side. But for the date, it also hits for the. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, but this time, time, time. Uh, I wish I could take it out, but uh, nudging, nudging, nudging. Okay, so you just take the time thing to the ruler too, basement bar lounge too, and you transform it from align to the center to align to the left. You take it to that side too, create it to create and come one, come all. And one thing you should know is for the for the main text, sometimes it doesn't apply to the align to the whatever. You just make sure the other details or the other text are doing the alignment and everything. So for the artists that the art creatives, you can just go creative with it. Yeah, something like this. And let's say I have an image I want to bring. I mean, I want to bring in an image. Um, what's this? What's this guy's image? Yep you guys need to give me a minute here okay found it so um you just bring in an image i've already taken out the background of this image so uh -huh. so um you can just bring in an image you make sure the size and everything is cool and you have to be creative when you add your images to i mean your designs and everything so fast forward let me just add some um curves and everything why is my kid? Oh, come on. I have to rasterize this guy first before I can get my curve. So, oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, man. So, for the curves, just make sure it's cool. Let's create a clipping mask because we don't want any troubles. Okay. Then you can just make sure the artifs get on top of the guy. Just give it some drop shadow or something just make sure it looks cool i mean make sure it looks very nice and um yeah so um basically you you, you align to the left if you want to bring in an, an image to the right side you align to the right if you want to bring in an image to the left side so this is how it goes and this is just it i mean it looks very nice it looks very simple so um guys um, we are almost I mean up to let's say 18 minutes but it's cool because I need to let you understand what I'm doing so um, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up for today and um, kindly make sure to subscribe to the channel like my video comment anything you want me to do for you any topic any whatever in Photoshop cinema 4d just leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll do something about it I'll do I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna do something. Let me do a gangster. I'm gonna do something about it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so um, subscribe to the channel. My name is Rami Bry Jones from RBJ Creative Studio. And I'll be bringing you back to back, back to back, back to back, 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 and back, and back tutorials. <laughs> tutorials. So, um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss y'all. So, um, Wow, peace.